call this special call uh, council meeting Thursday, May 2nd, to order the invocation given by Mr. Kenner and the Pledge of Allegiance given by myself. Almighty God, I will give you thanks and praise for your great goodness towards us. Be with the mayor and council this evening as they go about the public business, lead, guide, and direct in all that they do. These things we ask in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Phillips, we do a roll call, please. Mr. Richard Bailey? Here. Mr. Craig Mashburn? Here. Mr. Gary Stewart? Here. Mr. Mott Ashburn? Here. Mr. Patrick Stewart? Here. Thank you. Before we do the adoption of the agenda, I wanted to add one item on there. It's the uh, prosecutor appointment. So with that being added, do I have a motion to adopt the agenda? I'll make a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. say no. Uh, there's no approval of previous minutes. So we'll go to the new business. Uh, consider an ordinance author authorizing issuance of the city's general obligation warrant series 2019. On this, we have to set the rules aside. Do I have a motion to set the rules aside? I make a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, as Phil as we do a roll call, I'm going to say moves aside. Mr. Richard Bailey? Yes. Mr. Greg Mashburn? Yes. Mr. Gary Stewart? Yes. Mr. Mike Mashburn? Yes. Mr. Patrick Stewart? Yes. So the rules are set aside. Mr. Green, would you like to explain this before we go into the <coughs> Yes. Do I need to sign this? No, no, no. Uh, well, thank you all for being here. Um, as you just heard, this is a special meeting, so I know there's other things that you'd rather be doing, but it's important that you're here. Um, uh, as you guys know, it's never good to sell bonds on a Monday. I know you guys normally meet on Mondays or, or Tuesdays. And, um, uh, it's always good to sell bonds in the middle of the week, and that's mainly because of salesmen. I, I don't know if it's just that they don't work hard or what, but um, they're, they say they pay, they pay more attention during the middle of the week, so that's why we're here. Uh, we were in the market yesterday um, with the city of Bond issue. Um, we got about uh, $7 million in orders for, um, for around $4 million in bonds, and so what that allowed us to do is lower the rates even more than where we had um, began pre-marketing um, the bonds for the city. So that's that's just a testament of, of there's a lot of demand out there, and they have a lot of different cities to choose from, and they, they, you know, they're comfortable with what's going on in Scottsboro. So um, I encourage you to look at the rating report as well. We um, got the city's bond rating renewed. It's A+. Plus. Um, that's what it was, and so they just reaffirmed their um, outlook on, on the city's credit. Uh, <clears throat> so you, you've seen this sheet before. This is exactly what was presented in February or, or March. Um, and at that time, the rates were a 3.29%. <clears throat> and um, we, we went out a little bit further than uh, 15 years, but uh, with the rates dropping um, since that time and, and there being a lot of demand out there, we were able to shorten the debt up to 15 years. And the final rate is 2.76. That's a fixed rate. Um, you are maintaining the same payments on the solid waste uh, portion. So you're getting $3 million there. It's being amortized over 11 years. That's the green box. And um, the rate on that piece was two and a half percent. So you're able to borrow money for 11 years at two and a half percent. Hard to believe. Uh, and then as you go to the right, that's the other projects that will be funded outside of the sewer department or solid waste. Um, 
and then to the very far right you got total debt service there. So after this issue, your your payments are going to stay you know, very close to where they are now because you had the solid waste um, issue in 2009 that's been paying off, uh, or that's going to pay off. So um, you guys are able to get get these projects done at extremely low rates and continue to have a similar debt service payment. Um, and so at, at that, if there's no questions, um, we'd ask that you guys approve the ordinance. Um, but I'm here to answer questions. Does anyone have any questions? I I will say one other thing uh, before I sit down. We, we were also in the market with the IDB issue uh, during the same time, and uh, that issue is a little bit different than, than the cities. Um, it's taxable, so the rates are different. Um, but that rate came at a 3.55 for about 10 years. That's a taxable rate. So those are just naturally higher than tax exempt. So um, all in all, a good deal for the IDB, a good deal for the city, and um, thank you for the opportunity to continue working with the city. Thank you all for the Anyone have any other questions for Brad? If not, <clears throat> you'll have a motion to consider the ordinance authorizing the issuance of the city's general obligation warrant series 29. I'd like that motion. Uh, second. second. Any discussion? If not, I think the roll call please. <clears throat> Mr. Richard Bailey? Yes. Mr. Greg Mashburn? Yes. Mr. Gary Stewart? Yes. Mr. Mike Ashburn? Yes. Mr. Patrick Stewart? Yes. Thank you. We'll go to item number two on the prosecutor appointment. Um, Brian Rice uh, resigned today um, and they filled in with Deborah Dunsmore. Uh, she's the And uh, she's been through the interview process, uh, so at this time I would like to entertain a motion uh, to put Deborah Dunsmore in as the prosecutor for the remainder of the term. I'll make that motion. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Sure. 
and uh, and even the streets we talked about. Yeah, I know Josh is not here. Up with some more numbers on that. Yes, I'd like to talk about all that. Yeah, you know, in the work session. So, thank everyone for coming. That's all. Right. And thank Brad and the work that y'all done. Thank you. An outstanding Brad. job and really protecting the city. We appreciate it. Mr. Ashman, I'd just like to say I attended the uh, Impact Learning Center a little out Friday night in the Kiwanis uh, pancake breakfast on Saturday morning, and they were both well received. It was packed at both of them, and that, uh, I'm proud of that. Other than that, I appreciate y'all coming out. Gary? I really don't have anything other than being said, so I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. How about I can be my making pancakes for the way.